Hello. I'm Vanda. How are you? Absolutely freezing. Yeah? <laughs> this How is are a good you? Idea. Your editor's very imaginative. Adam, oh. just enjoy it, okay? What's happened to you in the last four years then, oh. since you brought out the last album? What have you been up to? I've been very busy actually. I've been um, making several movies mm. you know, in Los Angeles where I was in. <laughs> and then doing the album. Is it Paris? Is it London? Is it Rome? And Marco and I were writing the song with, so writing the album with Boz Bora, and we just did a very basic record. Did it around Boz's house, kicked his wife and daughter out, and <laughs> over, and uh, went to Abbey Road Studio 2 to record it, where the Beatles did all their stuff. It's got a real vibe, that studio. We just did it all live, very traditional. <laughs> This is a new album then, what, what's, what's it called? What's, what's, well, it's called Wonderful. It's, it's called Wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, the single's called Wonderful. Yeah, where did you, where did you get the name for that? What? Uh, well, the what's actual it all track, about? Yeah, the track Wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. Are you lying? Wonderful. You're not. Wonderful. You're lying. I was in love with this, this wonderful woman at one time in my life. This is lovely. Because when you fall out of love with someone, when you break up, there's all that pain and yeah. jealousy and all the bad things. And I just thought I just wanted to let her know that I thought she was wonderful. Wonderful. But it was, it was I just wrote it in one go. The lyric just came out. On a, I just wrote it on the side. Yeah. I sent it to her. I sent her the demo, but it was a bit painful at the time. Yeah. Because the album's very different from the wonderful. It's, uh, it's very personal and it's not. A lot of the previous words have been very like a presentation at arm's length, you know? Mm -hmm. And this one's been um, very, very personal. I've got a cousin called Kevin. He's got a fur-lined sheepskin jacket. <laughs> the band is that I'll be going on tour with, and the band that was on the album uh, was Marco Pirani, who uh, has always, you know, worked with me from day one. Yeah. Adam and the Ants. And uh, Boz Bora on guitar. Boz was with the Polecats and with Morrissey. And he's mad. <coughs> and um, uh, an American bass player called Bruce Whitkin, who's my personal favourite. And um, then we have David Raffy on drums, uh, who played with the Ruts. <coughs> Hello. He's a lovely big dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just added a, another drummer for the tour. Uh, his name's Dave Barbarossa, and he was originally in Adam and the Ants, and he joined Bow Wow Wow, and he's back with me now, so it's two drummers up for the, the tour. Just drive, he said. The tour starts uh, in Britain um, in early March, March 11th through to the end of March, and then in the USA... It's quite hectic. Yeah, USA is uh, all of uh, April and May. I'm wrong, all wrong. So what else do you want to know? Well... What's the difference between your music and films? Like, is, is, um, is the music more personal to you? Drive! They are very different animals, and I've tried to separate the two. And yeah. I think music is very instinctive, and it's far more... It's a bit more crazy, really. I mean, because anything can happen in movies. You have to focus and wait all day to do maybe, you know, 10 seconds of film or 15 seconds of film and be ready. But it's been a good discipline for me because I was able to study and take a class out in Scotland, in, in uh, Los Angeles, with a wonderful teacher called uh, Harry Mastro George. Well, I've got people like Daryl Hannah and Ray Liotta in the class, and Vincent Spain. Yeah, I was going to say, actually, can you tell me about some of the people that you've been working with? Like, yeah. Was there Sharon Stone? And yeah, Sharon Dennis Stone. Hopper. And Dennis Hopper's a very sort of unusual person. <laughs> was he a good man? Was he a kind man? You can't land on a fraction, man. So how do you feel about people asking you about your private life and, oh, it's and, and women? <laughs> it's no, it just comes with the territory. The trouble is that if you have a relationship, it's kind of trying to keep it private. Because I think you have a right to do that, you know? But I don't know, that's your job. You've got to do it. It's part of the job. It's can't be in separate. Yeah. I suppose so, but then with, um, I like the theme of wonderful, that was, um, based on the sort of love affair, wasn't it? Yeah. So you're going to have quite a lot of interrogation about that. Well, that's, that. yeah, but that's Is fine that because that's in, I mean, that's in the work, you know, that's yeah. what it's about, that's what I'm saying, you know, it's just something I've never really dealt with before. So, sit down, shall we? Mm. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, so, the, uh, the whole album was written on acoustic guitars, so it was, 
kind of easy to electrify everything. And uh, with that, you get a much more personal kind of feel. And you can also hear the lyrics um, a lot clearer. So the words on this one uh, had to be right out front. And the producer, David Tickle, told me that that was what he was going to do. He was going to produce my voice very differently from anything before. Because mm. my voice in the past has been part of the sound. You know, it's not really been up front. So, so the, new, the new album is a totally different feel from anything that you've done before, mm. is it? Totally yeah, because of that, because of the mm. writing technique. and. Um, you know, it's nice to, with every album I do, I like to start with a completely blank page and start from scratch and look, the sound, everything about it's got to be, you know, got to be different. I've got the loudest suit in London on, you're all in red, and there's all them people out there pointing at me. They think I'm Billy Idol. What do you think about the sort of current music scene at the moment, just in, in, in general? <sighs> I think it's better than it's been since 1977, 78. It reminds me really much of the punk thing, but without the violence and without the sort of, you know, idiocy of, uh, you know, people tapping into a sort of, you know, spitting and doing stuff like that. And I think the music scene at the moment is really vibrant, very live. Mm. All the bands are playing live. And I think there's some good things happening in rap and in the dance thing. It's mm. getting much more musical. So what else do you want to know? Um. Well, what other things do you do sort of outside your music and acting to sort of relax? Like, are there any well, I like sort shopping. Sort of interest? I like shopping, leather goods, <laughs> and uh, reading, <laughs> and going to art galleries. Yeah. And my hobby is 18th century London, which is easy because 18th century, you know, has always fascinated me because it's a very bawdy, sexy, brutal, but honest time. I really liked it. And I love the history of London. It's my city, it's where I live, it's where I come from. Big Ben, man. Is there anything else you want to know right now, or...? No, I think we've got everything that we need, really. Yeah? We've covered it all. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, right. Well, do you want a cup of tea or something? Yeah, it's I think so. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's not a very thick one, is it? This is that, this is the stuff I was telling you about. Do you mind if we um, take this? That's all right. Yeah. Got the um Well we can get one of these for the for the magazine if you want. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's uh, Marco on the outside Abbey Road. What I do to mark them up for some for magazines. I think some of them are free. That's good. Yeah, you used to be a bordello, this place. I really like that Abbey Road used to be a whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's moody, isn't it? <laughs> that's moody. I've never got to crop that one in, though. This is, this is quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's one I'm using for the tour, the tour program. Oh, that poster. I like that one. That's my favourite. We did some in Soho. <clears throat> and the theme of it was a Dylan Thomas quote, Slap Dash Eden. And I got the... Um, yeah, the album. This is the album colour. <coughs> this is um, just come through today. That's that. If you hold that in, that's the that's the front, and this is like the, the one in Soho. And then these shots were taken by Dave Tickle, the producer. It like snaps of the band live in the studio. It's kind of nice because you get an idea of the, the vibe. There's Johnny Reynolds and Bruce Whitkin, Dave Raffy, Boz, me and Marco. Your trousers are a bit dirty. They are, mate. Let me of
Adam? Come on, get dressed. What's going on? I do you just, just shut up and enjoy it. But go really, really fast. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, very nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Had a man. I thought he was dead. It's gonna take real. It's gonna take real. It's gonna take more than you ever, ever, ever thought it could. Very long rides, a very long ride. Very long ride, it's a good long ride. Very long ride, it's a very long ride. Very long ride, it's a long ride.